My dear grade 12 students, I want to share with you tips on writing a research title. What are these tips? Let's begin the discussion. Number one, decide on a topic and read related materials about it. You cannot come up with a title unless you have decided on a topic. You need to read materials about the topic you have chosen so that you will be guided on the idea where you're going to focus on in your study. This helps you organize your title. Number two, identify the independent variable and the dependent variable. First, let's review what a variable is. It is a measurable characteristic of a noun that varies. When you say varies, it means changes. So anything that you can see, anything that you can touch, or you can hear in a person, a place, or a thing, or any characteristic of uh, these things or of these nouns, that change may be called a variable. Examples. Size weight, height, exam result, skin tone, and of course, more examples. Let's take a look at example number four, exam result. Let's say in the past, you got low score in your exam, and now you got a higher score. What could be the reason so the reason may be you spent time or you spent more time in reviewing this quarter. So as a result, you got a higher score in your exam. Which one affected the other and which one is being affected by the other? So we are going to have the two variables. One is independent variable and another one is dependent variable. So, in the example given earlier, what affects a low score or what affects a higher score? Or the question would be, what is affected by the time spent in reviewing? Okay, so isn't it that... Um, the low score or the high score is that something which is affected and what affects it, it is the time you spend in reviewing. In other words, independent variable is called the cause and dependent variable is cause, I mean is called the effect. And that's according to the YouTube channel Professor Haggard. I hope you subscribe to that channel. Okay. To illustrate better or to illustrate further the difference between independent and dependent variable, let's have this situation. An experiment is conducted to rats in order to know the correct dosage of the medicine to be given to humans. A certain formula was said to either shorten or extend one's life depending on the dosage given. So you can see here the illustration here. Here are the rats and the dosage or the, the medicine. So which one is going to be affected by the other? Or which will be affecting the other? Okay, let's see. Analyze well and you should ask yourself the question, what causes a thing to change? And another question that you should ask yourself is, what changes? So your answer to this question, what changes, is the dependent variable. And the answer to this question, what causes a thing to change, is the independent variable. So what do you think is the cause? or the dependent variable here. Yes, you're correct. It's the rat's lifespan. And what affects 
the lifespan of the rats. Medicine dosage. That's the independent variable. Okay? Let's proceed with the other tip on writing a research title. Let's have now number three. You must decide on the keywords to be included in the title. What are these keywords? Number one, variables. We are just uh, done discussing the two types of variables. The independent and the dependent variables. Then, respondents. What do you mean by respondents? Okay, so these are the people involved in your study. These are the people from whom you are going to get the data or to gather the data that you need in your study. They are the subject of your study. Next, number three is the locale. Locale is the place where you're going to conduct your study. So these are the keywords that must be present in your research title. And now I'm going to present you the pattern or the format used or followed in making a research title. But before that, I would like to acknowledge the source of uh, this information and that is the YouTube channel named Sid and She. You may subscribe to that channel. Okay, so let's have now the pattern one. Independent variable, that's the first one. And the blue, dependent variable. Then you write the word among and the purple, respondents in local. So let's do the substitution. Independent variable, let's have oral communication based activities. The dependent variable here is the speaking competence. And the respondents, the senior high school students. And the locale is General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School. So, um, using this pattern one, we have come up with this title now. Oral communication-based activities and speaking competence among senior high school students in General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School. So, that's pattern one. Okay, remember that. Just in case you don't want to follow this pattern, we still have another. That's pattern two. So this time, the title will begin with the effect of, then followed by independent variable, on the followed by dependent variable, among followed by respondents, in local. Okay, so let's do the substitution. Independent variable is again oral communication based activities. Dependent variable is, again, speaking competence. And then the respondents, the same, senior high school students. And the local is General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School. So, we have come up with this complete title now using this pattern. Okay. Just in case you don't want, again, pattern 2, we still have pattern 3. And this is the shortest. You are just going to use the dependent variable and then the respondents and the locale of the play, uh, or the place. So we have come up with this. The speaking competence of the senior high school students in General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School. For uh, most researchers, they are actually adding the time here or the year. So, we can add also after the word school, you are going to add school year 2020 to 2021. After making a title of a quantitative research, write it using the following guide. By the way, this guide is taken from the YouTube channel named Jean Castillo. You may subscribe to that channel too. So, the first one is use one to three lines only. Use the inverted pyramid form. 
Do not use abbreviation, syllabication, and acronyms. Use capital letters. Use up to 15 words only. And words must be arranged in thought phrases. By the way, what are phrases? These are groups of words that function as a single part of speech. So when you cut phrases, make sure that the group of words you put together makes sense. And this will be explained further through the example I'm going to show you. So let's analyze this title. Effectiveness of self-directed learning modules as perceived by grade 12 students in Giants. Let's see if we follow the tips. Use one to three lines only. Okay, we follow that. Use the inverted pyramid form. So as you can see, it looks like an inverted pyramid. Do not use abbreviation, syllabication, and acronyms. We do not have an abbrevi abbreviation there. We do not have also syllabication. But then, as you can see, there is an acronym here. So, this is erroneous. That's why we have to correct it. We have to spell it out. General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School instead of saying Jayans. Use capital letters. Okay, we used capital letters there. And the last one, words must be arranged in thought phrases. Okay, so let's analyze there. Effectiveness of self-directed learning and it stops here. Do you think the cutting of phrase is correctly done here or you want that the word modules will be written here and then as you can see here grade and it's cut there and then the word or the number 12 is placed below so i'm going to show you now the correct form so there Effectiveness of self-directed learning modules as perceived by grade 12 students in General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School. You must not cut phrases for the purpose of making a three-line title. If it's not possible to have three lines, then just have two, just like this. Okay, so have you understood the discussion? That's good. So now, it's your turn to improve this title given. Follow the tips discussed, then try to revise this if necessary. You may comment down your answer. After this discussion, I expect that you will be able to make a title of your chosen topic for your quantitative research. So there, my dear grade 12 students, good luck and God bless.